Top 6. Best Chainsaw Sharpener. If you're looking for the best chainsaw sharpener, here's a collection you've got to see, let's get started, at any time, you can click the circle for more info and real-time deals. Number 1. Best Overall. Oregon Bench Slash Wall Mounted Saw Chain Grinder. For a chainsaw sharpener that will deliver consistent results and keep your tool in top shape, you can't go wrong with the Oregon Bench Slash Wall Mounted Saw Chain Grinder. While somewhat of an investment, this tool is worth it for anyone who regularly needs to tune up chainsaws. It can sharpen models from a variety of popular brands and includes everything you need for the best results. This 120V chain grinder can be mounted to a workbench or wall, and it can sharpen a quarter inch, 3 8 inch low profile, 0.325 inch, full profile 3 8 inch, and 0.404 inch pitch chains from all manufacturers, including Oregon, Steel, Husqvarna, and more. The unit comes with a grinder, dressing brick, quick check grinding template, and three grinding wheels. It has a built-in wheel wear indicator and even a light for better visibility while you work. While this chainsaw sharpener may be overkill for someone who only cuts wood a few times a year, if you use your tool regularly, the Oregon Saw Chain Grinder is a worthwhile investment. Number 2. Best Value. Oregon 520 to 120 Electric Chainsaw Grinder. Enough to grind into the chassis of the chain. Correct grinding techniques. Remember, always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment when working with chain grinders. Grind all the cutters on the same hand of the chain. For example, if you start with the right hand cutters, complete all right hand cutters in sequence before stopping the unit and rotating the chain vise assembly to grind all the left hand cutters in sequence. The goal is to get back to good chrome plating. When grinding, Always use a quick tapping technique to minimize burning of the surface of the cutters. Before switching to the other hand, visually verify that the cutters you have sharpened have similar top plate length. If the cutter top plates are not visually similar, adjust the cutter chain stop to remove slightly more material to achieve uniform visual top plate length. It is important that the right hand and left hand cutter top plate lengths remain balanced through the life of the chain. To obtain this balanced condition, the top plates need to be approximately the same length. After grinding, clean the saw chain to remove any grit and then soak in oil. Adjusting depth gauges is an important part of regular chain maintenance. If the cutter has been aggressively sharpened to remove damage, the depth gauges will need to be set. If there's been no damage to the cutter, the depth gauges can be adjusted about every three or four sharpenings. For setting chain depth gauges with a 520-120 grinder, install a quarter inch or 516 inch wheel. Rotate the head tilt angle to 60 degrees. Then rotate the vise assembly to zero degrees. Check the profile of the grinding wheel as illustrated in the owner's manual. Adjust the profile with the dressing brick if necessary. Next, verify the correct depth gauge. Number three. Best Budget Oregon Chainsaw File Kit Number 4. Best Manual. Catsco Chainsaw Sharpener File Kit. Sharp Chainsaw is a safe chainsaw. Keep your chainsaw operating with maximum performance with the Chainsaw Sharpening Kit from Catsco. This kit contains everything you need to keep your cutters sharp and your depth gauges at optimal length. Keep your saw running with maximum performance with the Chainsaw Sharpening Kit 
from Catsco. Number 5. Best Portable. Oregon Sure Sharp Handheld Chainsaw Chain Sharpener. If you don't know the particular angle on which to grind your chain to, that information can be found in the manual for the Sure Sharp Mini Grinder, or it can be found online at OregonProducts.com. In our particular example, we're going to use the car battery adapter. So I'm going to go plug that in and power it up right now. We've got a power, some power supply to it. What you need to know, you need to notice is that there are angles marked on this plate. 25, 30, to th and 35. What you want to do is you want to line up that line with the chassis of the chain and that will give you the correct angle for your top plate. Now when you're grinding, you don't want to hold this stone in one location. You actually want to work the tool back and forth along that cutter. That'll even the wear on the stone as well as help not create a hot spot on that cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and I'm going to grind some cutters. Now once you've sharpened both the left hand and the right hand cutters, you need to make sure and go back through and set the depth gauges. Depth gauges are often referred to as rakers or drags. That relationship between the top of the depth gauge and the working corner of the cutter is critical for good cutting performance. I hope this information has helped you. Number 6. Drixit Chainsaw Sharpening and Filing Kit the Drixit Chainsaw Sharpening and Filing Kit is designed with beginners in mind, though it has a number of problems that render it unsuitable for that purpose. The good news is that this kit comes with 5 30 seconds, 3 16 and 7 30 seconds round files, plus a flat file. You'll be able to work with most chains with the tools included in this kit. It has a depth gauge, filing guide, instructions, and pouch, so you should be able to do good work and keep your pieces together without much trouble. It also costs very little compared to most tools on our list, so there are a lot of reasons beginners would like it. However, we're not sure this is a good kit for beginners. The tool's overall quality is inconsistent and often quite low. That could lead beginners to believe that they'll never figure out how to sharpen a chainsaw chain, even when it's the tool's fault and not theirs. Because of the low quality, you can't expect expert-level sharpening from this kit. Consequently, this is a kit without a definite audience, and it won't be the right thing for most people. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.